Welcome back to Dirk's Diaries, everybody. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at the app Open Camera to help prove your videography. Open Camera is a free app for Android that gives you great control over your photography and videography straight from your cell phone. So let's dive into it right now. Okay guys, so after you go into the Play Store and download the app, it will have this icon called Open Camera. After it's downloaded, click it and then you'll open up and it will look like this right away. And if you just go to the right hand side, on the wall there, you can see that we have a blue button with a camera on it. That's a, uh, underneath that is the video camera. If you just click on that, and it automatically jumps to your full screen. Well, there on the left hand side are under the thumbnail up there. You have your switch button that switches the uh, front facing camera. Hi guys. And the uh, back facing camera. So you've got that, and then your video and your regular camera. Now if you go over to settings, click on that little icon. We'll just scroll through these quick. You can go look at all the settings, and I recommend you go through, read up on them. Some of these have some really good control more camera settings. There's lots of things you can do here to control how you do your video, audio, save location. You can even add metadata, um, calibrate your angles. Go to, we'll go straight to video settings because we're doing, so this is, uh, if you're doing videos, this is where you want to be and, and check just to make sure that you're shooting at the highest quality video that you can. You want to know what your bitrate is. Um, bitrate is super important. Uh, frame rate, what you're shooting at frame rates. In audio source, if you click this, you have the option to pick um, an external mic if present. I always click on that in a video, if you guys wish, I can show you in a video how to hook a USB microphone up to your phone, record yourself with your phone through the microphone for a YouTube video, which then you could rip the audio and touch it up and post it as a podcast. If, uh, if that's a video you guys are interested in, um, then we will we'll look at doing that in the future. Hop out of there. Go back to your screen. It'll tell you everything that you've set in place real quick. Um, so after settings, you have this dot, dot, dot. Click on that. This is where you can get your control. So you have your flash on, flash off, this A, and then the eight looking symbol and the plant. Those are focus. So A stands for autofocus. The sideways eight stands for infinity. So infinity focus. Um, and the plant stands for micro focus. Um, macro focus macro micro and not only that but underneath you have your video resolution and you can definitely play with those you have your video grid and on here they have some pretty advanced grids for you to pick from to help you frame your shot I don't want to go with a three by three after that, you have your white balance. It's automatically set into auto, which I never ever use. Have control, pick your white balance. It's daylight today, I click daylight. Just click off that to close that. And then you will have this little lock right next to that. If you click that lock, it will tell you exposure locked. Now what this does is once you've set your exposure, you lock it in place. So while you're moving your camera around from a shadier place to a lighter place, the camera will automatically want to change all the settings, the temperature and your exposure 
and it's almost like it fades in and you get this big exposure change. Um, uh, something like in this shot here, you can see that as I pan from the trees down to the path, the trees are super bright and it darkens as it goes down. Now I only had one hand for this, so I just left it like that. I didn't take the time to set my exposure, which I wish I had. Um, so the sky wasn't so blown out and you, you don't see that transition. I wish it was all just one tone. Um, so that's what this will help you do. We'll click on unlock for right now. And uh, hit this little square with the plus and minus and this is where you can set your exposure. Automatically the ISO is going to be stuck in auto. And I just click on it 100 and now it's auto. Out of auto and you have control. You can pick up to 800. 400, 200, 100. And I always start at 100. If I need to go more, I'll go more. Um, and then you can control your exposure with this exposure compensation. So, what I always recommend doing is going out, setting your camera up, it'll set an exposure for you, and then I click on this button, and you can lighten and darken it as you see fit. I always shoot on a slightly darker setting because you can um, get more information in post-processing out of your shadows than you can out of your highlights. Now I don't want to over and underexpose, but I always want to be on the darker side. What I'm going to do is I'll go in and I'll unlock that, click on this area in the screen that you want in focus, so let's say I want this flower comes into um, and now that that's all set and I have my focus I will lock it now I will pan over as I pan over whatever I've locked in focus and temperature wise will stay locked there's no changing Say you pan, and then you do want something else to be in focus. So I've panned over to this plant right there. I want that to be in focus. Just tap it on your screen, and it will come into focus. But your exposure will not change. You have it all locked down. And now you can see that those flowers are no longer in focus. And every time you refocus, it will just stay locked. Everything's blurry now because I've adjusted my camera. All I gotta do is click and it'll come into focus. And now it's locked. As the camera moves, I don't have to touch or change anything to correct it and it will not automatically change itself. And I recommend you using this app for all its other features that it has. Alright guys, I hope that this video has helped you out in some sort of way. Okay guys, I hope that quick review on the Open Camera app helps you guys um, understand it a little bit better or maybe motivates you to download this app. It's free and there's no reason why you shouldn't download it. It is definitely going to improve your videography on your cell phone. Um, and if you want more reviews, well whether you want them or not, I'm going to continue to make more reviews on other apps that I come across. And not only that, but some of the gear I'm using I will also be uh, doing some reviews on like the mic that I have attached to my cell phone, the tripod I use. I have a, uh, I have a gimbal coming in that I'm going to play around with and, uh, and see how it works and do a little review on that. Um, 
And if there's anything else you guys want me to maybe do a review on or look into and, and give my opinion on it, uh, I'll be more than happy to do that. Just leave that in the comments. Um, and as time goes on, I hope my videos improve and I hope I help you improve, improve your videos. I believe that cell phones are um, not just the future of online videos, but it's the present of online videos. Um, with everybody having a camera on their cell phone and cell phone cameras just getting better and better and the accessories for your cell phones to do video are getting better and better, we'll just be seeing more and more of this. Um, so now is a good time to get into it and start doing your research uh, and trying things out and experimenting. Uh, I'm 100% pro doing full videos and vlogging and whatever you can on just one device. It's the best, I think. Um, and it's just getting better. It's going to get better and better. Anyways, thanks for, for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.